There are many real life examples of Barnabas in the world and I just want to tell you the story of a 21st century Barnabas. Um, Mr. Jim Henson, who perhaps some of you may not know the name, but Jim is the creator of Sesame Street Muppets and for many of us um, is the person who was in our living room when our children were growing and watching the positive messaging that came from Sesame Street and later on uh, the Muppets. Uh, Jim, along with Frank Oz and Carol Spinney, Carol Spinney's the person in Big Bird, uh, spent a lot of time creating um, really simple messages and encouraging puppeteers and artists and there's a fantastic video on YouTube that I encourage you to watch of Bernadette Peters, who sings with Kermit the Frog and Kermit's nephew, Robin. And Robin announces that he's going to run away from home. And so Bernadette Peters explains to him that, uh, that somebody, needs to, somebody needs to take a better look at the way he's thinking and really believe in himself. Jim wrote uh, songs like Being Green, which is Kermit's theme song. And Being Green is a song, uh, at the beginning of the song, it talks about how green is just the color of the leaves. But later on in the song, uh, he discovers that it's the color of life and the color of uh, being sustained. And it's a beautiful, simple song. Uh, and Jim had very many messages. And many of the artists that worked with Jim Henson said that uh, it was probably one of the most positive experiences because of Jim's encouragement to them as individuals. Mr. Henson got very sick one Friday, and unfortunately, in early 90s, Jim passed away, and it devastated Sesame Street set and all of his puppeteers. And as they planned his memorial service, um, Big Bird sang, being green at the, at the funeral service, and... Um, and all of the puppeteers came together and sang a song that, funnily enough, is not written by Jim Henson, but is actually from the Snoopy musical. It's the finale piece. You may have seen it on, um, on Sesame Street, but I think the reason they chose it is because it's a song about believing in oneself and about the power if one person or two people or three people believe in you. The words are on the screen. If you recognize the song, I strongly encourage you to sing it. And uh, I've provided images from the Snoopy musical for you to enjoy and reminisce upon. And uh, this is If Just One Person. strong enough believes in you hard enough and long enough before you knew it someone else will think if he can do it I can do it making it to all people who believe in you deep enough and strong enough See what everybody's 